Welcome to Bahasa Indonesia, Lesson 12B. Attempt these exercises before uh, hearing this, hopefully. Hopefully you get them all correct. Ketika polisi datang, pencuri itu sudah lari. When the police arrived, the thief had run away. Nona Rosma sudah kawin. Mrs. Rosma has, uh, is married. Dia tidak tinggal di Menteng lagi, tetapi telah pindah ke Garut. They don't live, or he or she, don't live in Menteng anymore. They have moved to Garut. Kalau engkau belum mandi, engkau tidak boleh tidur di tempat tidur ibu, kata ibu kepada adik. If you haven't yet washed, you can't come and sleep in my bed, mum said to younger brother or younger sister. Kami sampai di gunung itu sebelum matahari terbit. We arrived at the mountain before the, the sunrise or before the sun had risen. Ketika Pak Kasim terbang dari London ke sini, dia singgah beberapa hari di Kuala Lumpur. When Mr. Kasim flew from London to here, he called in for a few days to Kuala Lumpur. Tahun yang lalu ada kapal terbang yang jatuh di dekat Bandung. A few years ago, a plane crashed near Bandung. Saya dengar Ayakarta masih hidup. I've heard that the father of Karta, or Karta's father, is still alive. Sampai sekarang, harga beras naik tiap hari. Up until now, the price of rice has been rising daily. Kapankah harga itu akan turun? When will it, when will it ever go down? Or when will it go down? Kami tidak mempunyai uang lagi. We don't have money anymore. We don't have any more money. Study these sentences. Satu. Mari kita pulang. Hari sudah gelap. Let's go home. It's already dark. Dua. Ketika saya lewat di kantor pos, saya melihat orang lari. When I was going past the post office, I saw a person running. Tiga. Very suspicious, that last one. Tiga. Kami tidak tahu. Apakah dia masih tinggal di Jalan Jeruk? We don't know whether he still lives in Jalan Jeruk, in Jeruk Street. Empat. Jangan lupa singgah di toko buku. Don't forget to call into the bookshop. Lima. Saya tidak percaya kakaknya belum beristri. Saya pikir dia sudah kawin. I don't believe it that he's Older brother hasn't yet taken a wife or hasn't yet married. I thought he was already married. Six. Mereka mundur ketika polisi lalu lintas datang dengan sepeda motor. They fell back or they they went backwards. They retreated when the traffic policeman arrived on a motorbike. Tuju. Adik mau ikut dengan kami ke bioskop. Tetapi tidak boleh. Younger brother or sister wants to come along with us to the theatre, to the picture, the picture cinema. But he's not allowed. Lapan. Kapan saudara pindah ke rumah baru itu? When did you move to the new house? Sembilan. Jangan percaya kepada perempuan itu. Don't you listen to that woman. Don't you believe what that woman says. Or don't you believe that woman. That's a very good bit of sound, adv sound advice, that one. Only a joke. Ten. Mari kita makan jeruk. Saya ingin sekali membelinya. Come and let's eat some orange. Oranges. I really want to buy some. Seblas. Kami tidak ingat lagi apabila tentara itu kembali dari Kalimantan. I don't remember or I don't yet know or I haven't remembered whether they 
whether the army has come back from Kalimandan. I don't know whether they mean the army or one soldier in that, uh, in that instance. Probably the army, it says here. Dua belas. Toko Pak Hasen sudah mundur sekali. The shop of Pak Hussein has fallen on hard times. You don't hear that very much. Pak Hussein sudah mundur sekali. Nowadays, you very rarely hear it in that context, the word mundur. Mundur means to retreat. For falling on hard times, there'd be another word for that one. Tiga belas. Dia belum percaya. Adiknya sudah tiba. He didn't quite believe it. He didn't believe it that his younger brother or sister had already arrived. Baplas, silakan makan. Kata tuan rumah kepada semua tamu yang duduk di meja makan. Please eat, said the host to all the guests who were seated at the dining table. Lima belas, kalau ada waktu, silakan datang ke rumah saya. Kata Nyonya Sumarni, Sumarni kepada kami. If you have time, please come to my house, said Mrs. Sumarni to us. Namblas, minumlah air jeruk tiap pagi. Drink orange juice every morning. So, translate. Satu, the police said to the thief, don't run away. Polisi berkata kepada pencuri, jangan lari. Dua, don't forget to come tomorrow. Jangan lupa datang besok. Don't take a bath in the dirty pond. Jangan mandi di kolam kotor itu. Empat, don't sit on the grass. Jangan duduk di rumput. Lima, don't go by train to Priok. Jangan naik kereta api ke Priok. Enam, don't come at half past ten. Jangan datang pada jam setengah sebelas. Tujuh, don't enter the dark room. Jangan masuk kamar gelap itu. Lapan, don't get off here. Jangan turun di sini. Sembilan, don't sleep under the tree. Jangan tidur di bawah pohon itu. Sepuluh, uh, don't drink the hot coffee. Jangan minum kopi panas itu. Sebelas, don't come in when I'm having a bath. Well, that's a good bit of advice too, isn't it? Don't come in when I'm having a bath. Jangan masuk pada waktu saya mandi. Jangan masuk kalau saya lagi mandi would be the more common way of saying that same thing. You could say that in a number of different ways, but that... Kalau saya lagi mandi is very, very common. Lagi mandi is whilst washing. Dua belas. Don't wash your feet here. Jangan cuci kaki di sini. Good luck with it. And until 12 che, salamat belajar.